What's up guys? In this video we are going to be talking about whole house water filters and more specifically the model uh, Viqua Model D4. We're going to be talking about what do they do, do they work, and who should use one? And is it easy to set up? There are so many different water treatment systems that picking the one you need can sometimes be a real hassle uh, to figure out. And so we're going to focus on one of the systems that is most commonly purchased to get rid of any bacterial growth in your water. If you are on city water, typically this won't be a concern, but you may want to invest in one even if you are on city water as a line of defense. It can happen and has happened uh, many times where uh, city water has bec become contaminated and it is very common for household private wells to contain some form of bacteria. And as disgusting as that may sound, uh, most of the time the bacteria that is in your well will not actually make you ill, but the concern is how is it getting in? And even more concerning is if coliform bacteria is getting in, then the door is potentially open for bacteria like uh, E. coli or uh, uh, Giardia could get in or uh, Cryptosporidium. Uh, the best way to find out if you have bacteria in your well is to go to your local home improvement store and buy one of those uh, water test kits that includes a test for coliform bacteria. Now, why is bacteria getting in your well? Well, it could be due to a couple of things. During construction of the well, bacteria can easily be introduced. After the well is completed, it should be sanitized through chlorinating or shocking the well, and also the piping in the structure. Another way that bacteria can get in is through an improper seal of the well itself. If the well isn't sealed properly, it can allow groundwater to get down inside. Uh, no matter how many times you shock it, you will continue to get bacteria after some time. And so this brings us to uh, the topic of do UV whole house water filters work? Uh, if you know anything about UV light, you know that it is uh, very good at killing all kinds of bacteria and viruses. Uh, hospitals and labs use them daily for sanitation and safety. Uh, they have wavelengths that disrupt the living cell, not allowing them to reproduce or function, and it essentially deactivates them to where they can no longer make you sick. I personally have had an issue with bacteria in my well. I believe my issue is that my well is not sealed properly and is allowing groundwater to find its way down and, and into the well. And so I was tired of constantly having to chlorinate my well. So I decided to find a system that would help my particular issue. And I found that the solution was either a UV light filter or a chlorination system. So I decided to go with the UV light filter as I can't really argue with the science that's behind the UV light. And I didn't really want to start dosing my water with any chemicals. And I've been using the light filter for about a year now and can honestly say that it definitely does work. Uh, prior to the UV light filter, the bacteria test that we would do uh, came back with a lot of bacterial growth. And since then, uh, we've had tests that showed no bacteria and then after a while longer, some bacteria. I would consider this a win. I will still need to shock my well from time to time, but if I only need to do it one to two times a year, then this could be considered somewhat normal. Uh, I may in the future decide to also get a chlorine injection system just to help the UV light filter, but just haven't done that yet. Uh, so I personally have the Viqua Model D4, and I purchased it uh, through Amazon uh, from the Fresh Water System store, which is one of the bigger water treatment stores online. Uh, I bought the system for $530, and then, of course, I also had some other cost in piping and connections. I'll put a link for this specific UV light water filter in the description below. I know it's gone up a little bit of price in price over time over the last year, um, so you can take a look for it yourself. Uh, it took me about two hours to install once I had all the parts that I needed. So let's go out to my well house just to give you an idea of how easy it can be. Uh, to set one of these UV light filters up on a well and uh, give a quick rundown of how it works. Okay guys, uh, here's uh, my setup. As you can see, it's really just two parts. It's uh, you got your control module there and you've got your canister here. 
uh, where the water is actually sterilized. Uh, the control module itself just plugs into any standard uh, electrical wall outlet. Uh, I just used a piece of plywood to hang everything. Um, it doesn't really matter what you use, just as long as you've got it up on a wall somewhere. And so uh, the control module here, as you can see, there's a, there's a timer here that says 60 right now. That's just a countdown timer that starts at 365. Uh, 365 days is what they recommend on a UV light bulb. So I'm, I'm coming up on having to replace it uh, pr probably pretty soon. But as you can see, we're, we're getting close to where I'm going to see how much longer I can get out of it than just 365. And uh, the bulbs themselves, on Vequa's website, they've got them for, from what I saw the other night, $119. Uh, you can get them on Amazon a lot cheaper. Um, However, just make sure you do your due diligence, read reviews, read specifications to make sure that it's going to, you know, have the longevity that and, and quality that you're looking for. Because sometimes those aftermarket things just, they don't last as long. It's just better to pay a little bit more for the, for the real stuff. So then you got these green lights right here. These are your status lights. They're, they're just telling me that everything is operating correctly. Uh. If one or both of those is red, it's going to tell me that either my there's something wrong with my control module or there's something wrong with the light in the uh, in the canister. So it's going to and one of those when one of those turns red, it also makes a beeping noise to try and get your attention. Uh, mine's out in my well house, which is about 60 feet away from my house, so I don't really hear it very well. But most people have theirs in there garage so it, they become aware of it a lot faster so you got your power coming in you got your power then going through the module going out to the top of the canister here this just clips on and off so you can pull it off when you need to take that light bulb out uh, there's two wires over here that will be screwed down that's your uh, basically acts as a ground um, and then you've got your power that then goes all the way down into the top of the light bulb that then powers it on so water runs up from your well into the bottom of the canister, goes into the canister to be sterilized and cleaned, and then up here at the top runs out into your house. Uh, they recommend using a pre-filter to get sediment and debris out. Uh, currently I do not have one set up as I did have one set up and it restricted my water quite a bit. So I will be putting one on here very soon that's uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, so as to not restrict the water flow because it is important to have a pre-filter on there to basically treat your water before it gets treated uh, so that the canister or the UV light, uh, the less sediment and just extra junk that's in your water that you can get out before it gets to it, it's going to allow that UV light to go through the water better and just clean all of it just more efficiently. So it's kind of key to get one of those pre-filters. So uh, and, the, and the connections here on the bottom and the top, they're uh, male threaded uh, ends. And you can use any material you want, like brass or whatever you decide is best for your purpose. Uh, I just went with PVC as it's a lot less expensive and is going to work just, it's going to work just fine. So, um, just make sure when you go and pick up your supplies that you pick up a little bit of extra. Uh, I had to run back a couple of times because I uh, did not foresee some turns that I was going to make or just forgot, you know, a uh, connection here or there. So just make sure you pick up extra so you're not finding yourself running back and, to, uh, back and forth to the store a lot. Uh, and the pieces are all relatively inexpensive, so it'd be worth your while just to buy some extras. So... Anyways, that's just a quick rundown of uh, how it looks set up and how easy it is to set up. If you're handy at all, it would be worth your while to do. Uh, I was quoted by a company to come out and put one in, and it was about 500 bucks more than I paid for this. So uh, save yourself some money if you can and, and install it yourself. Now to talk a little bit more about the Vequa Model D4 itself and my experience with it, 
I installed this system and a couple weeks later I started getting this beeping noise and some red lights were flashing on the module, which, you know, is never a good sign. So I looked in the instruction manual and I found out that what could be causing this is that it said that the UV light may need to be replaced. And I found this to be a little bit odd as it was basically brand new. Uh, I cycled it off and on and then it started working. Uh, a few days later it happened again. So I contacted the seller and told them my problem. Uh, they said it may just be from a power outage and that the bulb didn't light back up or it could be a bad bulb and they sent me a new one uh, free of charge. I put the new bulb in and it seemed to be working great, but a few weeks later it was doing it again. So I contacted them again and they said it's rare, but sometimes the control module can be bad. So they sent me a new one at no charge again. And since then I have had very few instances of this system faulting. The rare occasions that it does is after a bad storm where our electricity was affected. So the customer service has been great. Uh, the warranty that I didn't know that I had has been great. So overall, I'm very happy with this UV light water filter. I can see through my test that it is clearly making a difference in the quality of my water. So if you're having bacteria or any other microorganisms such as uh, Cryptosporidium or Giardia, then I would definitely uh, recommend uh, looking into getting a whole house UV light water treatment system. So guys, I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. And if you did, please like and share it. And please also click that subscribe button down below. We'll see you next time.